Hi guys, it's me. Yep, this is a kind of a solemn look, even though I've been doing my Christmas thing. And one of the reasons, and one of the reasons for the colors, comes from thinking about the first responders who are going to be out all through the holidays, away from their family, taking care of us. And some of them won't come back home. Good cops, the ones who understand, protect, and serve, put themselves in danger every time they pick up a badge, every time they walk out their door in uniform. It could be the bad guys. It could just be stopped on the highway trying to help somebody fix a tire and they get hit. EMTs and paramedics respond to active shooter scenes and are pretty much as much in danger as the cops because active shooters don't care who they shoot. EMTs go out in some of the worst weather known to respond to emergency calls. Firemen run into places that the rest of us are running from very, very fast. And they do it to try to save lives. Sometimes they don't come back out. First responders' lives matter. They matter a great deal. First responders also include people who do things like climb wiring poles and try to get our electricity back. And in some cases, they're still out, they're out there doing it while the weather is still horrid. I used to live in Florida. You wouldn't believe how many times we had wiremen up on poles when the wind was still too hard for regular people to walk in. But it was either that or not get our electricity back. I've seen living in other places, utility workers who get stuck literally up to their asses in ice cold water because the water main has busted from the freezing. Some of them don't survive it. Can you imagine having to stand in water that cold, in temperatures that low? Some of these people don't make it home, but they're out there working so that we have water to drink and lighting and heat. And they will be out there over the holiday when they would probably much rather be home with their kids and the rest of their family. Do you wonder whether or not the emergency room nurses and techs and doctors even have time to have a meal during some of the most busy time of the year because people get out and get stupid and go drunk driving. We take extreme advantage 
of people who are there to help us. And in a lot of cases, we take it completely for granted that they're going to be there to help us when we need. And yeah, the news is full of a lot of first responders who ought to know better than to take out whatever their frustration is on people who are just living their lives not doing a thing to anybody. But because of all of that turmoil on the news, even the ones that honor their badge, honor their commitments, will serve and protect anyone they can get the rough side of stuff yes I understand it when a whole community is going but the cops because they have been pretty much singled out by the wrong cops and have been for years. Paramedics refusing to go into certain neighborhoods because of the color of the skin. Just like Not everyone who gets taken down by a cop is just being the target of a bad cop. Not all of the cops are bad cops. Maybe if all of the good people on both sides of all the lines held out their hands to each other, we could get a little farther. First responders matter too. Black lives matter, Jewish lives matter, brown lives matter, Muslim lives matter, first responders' lives matter.